Guys, it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, guys, listen, I was talking to a woman the other day, and she said to me that she's seeing this guy. He's a really nice guy. They're enjoying each other's company, but he's a different religion than her. She is Muslim and he is Christian. So because of that, she didn't really take him seriously. She felt as though they were having a good time, but she just didn't take it seriously, put it like that. So then he told her he has feelings for her. This was just the other day. So she said to me, I think I have feelings for him too. And I said, oh, that's good then. And she said, yeah, but he's a different religion. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, well, can that work? She was like, can two people of two different religions, regardless of what the religion is, be able to work? She said, if I was Buddhist and he was a Christian, could that work? Can our situation work? Can a pagan and a Mormon work? <laughs> you know, she was like, can two people who believe two different ways be able to be together? And I'm like, you know something, it really depends on the maturity and the sanity of both people, honestly. Because when I was in Africa, I saw a multitude of families like that. And it was not a big deal. One of the families that I knew, the wife was a Christian and the husband was a Muslim. And this is how they worked it out. They went to the mosque together every Friday and they went to church together every Sunday. The children went to both with them. And when they were a certain age, they decided if they wanted to keep doing that or pick one or the other. So the kids just kept on doing that with them, <laughs> just kept going to both with them. And it's something that they, as a family, did together. And I was sitting there like, wow. <laughs> you know, like such an easy answer. And I thought about it and pondered it for a long time. And I realized the reason why all those families in Ghana are able to do that, they're able to have people in the family that are, believe in Islam, that believe in Christianity, that believe in traditional African spirituality. They had all of that going on in one house. You would have a person who might be practicing Christianity, but still practice the ways of their ancestors simultaneously. So I realized from watching that 20 years ago, that if you have respect for spirituality in general, and you're open-minded in that kind of way, you definitely can be in that kind of relationship. Because you have mutual respect for each other. So you're not trying to convert each other. You're not disrespecting each other. You're not telling each other you're going to hell. <laughs> you know, you're respecting each other's right to choose. And in that case, with the couple I mentioned, you're actually embracing it together. So it depends on the kind of persons you're dealing with. If you're dealing with somebody who's that open-hearted and open-minded, then yeah. But if you're dealing with somebody who's immature, they're not going to be able to do that. I have a Bible-thumping aunt. She would never be able to do that. She would have coerced the husband, if she could, into converting. That's what, exactly what she would do. She would never be able to be so open-minded and open-hearted to let people make their own decisions about their spiritual system. Imagine that. So some people absolutely cannot do it. Some people's mind is so warped. The religion, the brainwashing that comes with the religion, not really the religion itself, but the brainwashing that comes with it, the peer pressure that comes with it, that is something that a lot of people struggle with. So they wouldn't be able to be that open-minded. They wouldn't be able to be in a relationship. They wouldn't be able to say, you know what, you go ahead to the mosque, I'm going to church and I'll see you when I get back. Very simple, you know? Or, hey, I'm going to go to the, the temple with you. I'm going to go down to the Buddhist temple with you and we can do some meditation and then we can swing over and do some prayers at the church. It takes a special person, honestly, 
to really be like that to be that open-hearted, to be that open-minded, to be that emotionally balanced. It takes a special person. But I've seen more and more of these special kinds of people as the years have progressed. More people now are open-minded about spirituality. So I think you have a better chance of that energy now. But the bottom line is, is that for the young girl I was talking about, who's the Muslim and her guys are Christian, I told her you absolutely can make it if you are open minded about it. But if you're going to be arguing with him about religion or dis or, or vice versa, disrespecting each other, it's not going to work. And I asked her flat out, can you be in a relationship with someone who has a different spiritual system and not act like an ass. Can you not berate him or tell him what he should be doing or, or condemning him or judging him or criticizing him through the lens of your spiritual system? And she said, no, I would never do that to him. She was like, he can worship any way he wants. I just didn't know if we could make it. And I'm like, if you both have that understanding, you can make it. If you have feelings for each other and you both have that understanding, you both can make it together. But if either one of you is closed-minded or immature in that kind of way, it's not going to work. Because you're going to get in arguments back and forth and one of you is going to end up having to convert. Now, I've seen a lot of couples where that was the case and one of them did convert. It didn't mean much, you know, the guy told me, he was like, it didn't really mean that much to me. So I went ahead and converted. So it depends, you know, or maybe they have a change of heart or they think it's the best course of action. But my thing is, is that either way, if they choose to convert or not, if you have two open-minded, open-hearted, understanding people, they will be able to accept each other's differences in whatever way there is. But like I said, it takes a special person. I know a lot of people who could not pull this off. A lot of them. Because they would be so busy criticizing and judging the other person. Which kind of freaks me out because a lot of the, of the spiritual literature says judge not. And then those same people come judge. I've always found that to be strange. But that's usually what happens. And they're constantly condemning you. They're coming at your neck. They're talking shit, <laughs> you know, and it turns into a negative. But if you have two people like myself, I just see different ways of worshiping. And I think that's okay. I think everybody has a different way to worship and that's okay. Whatever way is best for their spirit. And I don't see a problem with that. So I very much could be with somebody who um, was a different spiritual system than my own. That wouldn't be a problem at all, as long as they had that open-mindedness and that respect. So that's my answer. Um, I would like to know if any of you have ever been in that situation. I would like to know, have any of you ever had a successful or non-successful relationship with somebody in another spiritual system? Um, I've dated people in a lot of different spiritual systems and to me, it, it never was a big deal unless it came into the relationship as a negative or them trying to control me with it. It was never a big deal. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. Any information that you want on me is underneath this video because I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. My Patreon is under there. My email is under there and uh, my PayPal in case you want to send me a love donation. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and pass it on to someone else who has this question or who may be going through this dilemma. I've seen a lot of people in modern times deal with this. Okay, see you later.